So as you guys know, we have the snowmobile series going right now. And now we're gonna add on this one, which is finishing off the garage. As everybody has seen, the garage is only partially finished. The walls are insulated. The house side does have sheetrock on it, but the ceiling needs to be sheetrocked and blown and we're gonna be adding in a heater in here along with a bunch of LED lights as well to really brighten things up, make these videos as good as they can get. With this project, I decided to invest in a new trailer. This is a five by eight uh, Northern Tool trailer and I went and looked at them. I was actually pretty happy with the, the price. I was able to pick it up for $750 and a few things that I really like about it is the drop down gate. That's something I didn't have before and the regular bolt pattern tires which I also did not have before. Comparing this one today to the other trailer that I had, the 4x8, this one toes so much nicer and uh, it doesn't bounce or jerk the vehicle around at all. It's really nice. So in total this is one of just a few trips but I'm going to slowly be getting everything that I need as time goes on. I got 20 sheets of sheetrock, half inch lightweight, an 8 foot ladder and this drywall lift. A lot of people would probably suggest just renting one of these but at $25 a day I thought this one was 170 bucks, and this project is probably going to take me quite a while and I really don't want to feel rushed with it. So I just bought one and uh, figured it would save my back. At our last house I tried to finish off the ceiling on the garage and I just used a little ladder in the bed of my pickup truck. And what ended up happening is I cut the sheets in half and put them up there and it was still too bulky for me to hold it above my head and, and do it. Uh, I just struggled really hard with it. So I want this garage to look nice because I plan on living here for a long time. And we're just going to start with what we got here on the walls. And it's going to take about two and a half sheets. I'm going to have to take down the pegboard here. And um, it'll just take about two and a half sheets to get me to the top. These are 10 foot walls. I got 20 sheets which should be close to what I need um, and then it'll be the ceiling which that lift will make a dream of doing so I'm excited to use that. It's Drywall is one of those things that is just really bulky and is hard to do by yourself. I also picked up a hundred foot of the poly for a vapor barrier. Some of the spots on the walls probably need to be redone and then a big 25 pound box of drywall screws. That should get me pretty far. That's like the best investment ever. <clears throat> oh, that's heavy. All right. Got the uh, choke cables in for the for the snowmobile. Right, that's right. There we go. Ta-da! I'm hoping that this fits right into that same primer spot. I'm sure it will. Awesome. All right. All right, let's get this opened up. Very nice. Grandpa? Go ahead, talk to him. Oh yeah? You know? So I'm talking to Grandpa. And I just asked him how he's feeling. He's like, 
But I'm like, but Savannah's still there? She, they're like, oh yeah, Anna still does. I have no issues with Anna. Alright, let's see. So this comes down. So you can, because it'll be eight feet this way, so these wing out. So it's, it sits on everything. That looks like a lot of fun. Have a good nap. <laughs> She's like, well, I'm kind of still sleepy. Say hi. Rosie, no? can you say hi? Say hi. Okay, it's a little later and I'm back out here in the garage. I'm gonna put up a couple more sheets and I'll probably have to put up some poly on the top because that looks like, uh, I don't know what happened there, but we gotta get some poly up there. Just this one sheet, I am so happy with. <laughs> it looks way nicer than that pegboard and I'm really excited to see what this place is gonna look like once it's all put up. So, let's get to work. go we got that all polyed up okay to cut this I just have this little like handle and you put sawzall blades in it and this one was a steel blade or a bimetal but um, it's pretty used but I, it'll probably actually work better it won't be so aggressive Okay, for the next piece, I'm just gonna slap it right up over the window and we'll cut out the window later. Did I get you? The battery was blinking red and I was trying to throw that piece up real quick, but we got her, we saved it luckily, uh, although I was, I'm amazed that it didn't fall down. So what we're doing now is we're working on the last panel that I want to get up tonight. Problem is, I got it all the way up there and there's like a foot and a half chunk of 2x4 like in this area 
for really no good reason that we have to get out of there because uh, I don't know why it's tagged on there. So. so that, you maybe see it, but right there on up on that header is where that chunk of two by four is. All right, so I would say for my first evening working on this, that looks great. Completely different. It took this garage from really shabby to really nice. And I, I think we got about half of it done. Uh, well, half of it on this wall done. So that's really exciting.